Hi, and welcome to this webinar. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Malta Haring. And in today's session, I will show you how you can efficiently develop an SAP BW by reusing existing elements. BW developers often have to implement complex requirements, and usually there is a limited time to fulfill the task, meaning they have to deal with certain deadlines. Due to this, there is not much time for analyzing and finding objects that could be reused or at least used as a template for the new development. Although this would be the right way, the manual effort with the stand SAP standards is way too high and time consuming. Thus, usually a more convenient way is chosen. Objects are created from scratch without considering redundancies or duplicates in the system. And it's just uh, about getting to the target as soon as possible. In this webinar, I will show you how functionalities of the system scout in the Performer Suite will help you to speed up the process of finding reusable elements in the system. Let's have a small look, a short look at the short agenda for today. First of all, I'll start to demonstrate the problem with a small use case that I prepared. In the second part, we will talk about the challenges of diligent development. And afterwards, we will jump into the live demo in which I will present you the system scout functionalities which address these challenges. At the end, as usual, some additional useful information for you. Okay, so let's jump to our news case. First of all, we can see that there are three people involved who all work for a pharmaceutical, uh, pharmaceutical company. There is Martin who is working for the purchasing department and Martin is requesting a new BW query for his reporting purposes. Then there is Connie. Connie on the other hand is BI project lead and clarifies the requirements which Martin has and creates a set card with this new, uh, for this new query. And the newly created query will be developed by Nico who recently joined the company. And once the requirements are defined by Connie, she opens a Jira task and assigns it to Nico, who will then take care of the development. Since Nico is new to the company, he would like to show his development skills and deliver the requirements and the query as, as soon as possible. But this leads to a certain problem, which I would like to show you now. On the one hand, Nico wants to develop the requirement accurate and diligent, meaning he would like to do a proper analysis first and reuse existing elements if possible. However, opening all existing queries that already are built on the info provider and checking which queries he could use as a template is manually just a waste of time because it takes way too long. On the other hand, Nico wants to deliver the development as quickly as possible. But this leads to the situation that he might disobey development guidelines and create duplicates and thereby messing up the system. But there is help. There is a secret third approach, uh, which he can choose with System Scout. With the functionalities of the System Scout, Nico can do the proper analysis first and deliver the query anyway fast. And let me show you how this works. For this, we jump into the application and I will show you a bunch of functionalities which will speed up the process uh, for Nico. Okay, let's first of all have a look into the Jira ticket that Nico received from Connie. The query and its purpose is described in the ticket and we all already have the technical name of the query which needs to be created and the composite provider on which it should be built. Furthermore, Connie attached a set card to the Jira task, which is defining in detail how the query should be built up. So let's have a look at this set card that Connie created. Here we go. And we see, okay, there are some general properties that Connie gave us. We have a technical name. We have the description of the query and we have uh, certain settings. First of all, we get a bunch of variables that the query should offer. We have the base key figures that should be included in the query. We have characteristics which should be either placed into the columns or rows. And we have three characteristics and so on. 
You can see this is quite a simple query. This is just for demo demonstration purposes, but you can also imagine the same case with quite complex queries, meaning if there are calculated and restricted key figures included or complex structures or whatsoever, more complex the query is, the better the functionalities get with System Scout. Okay, so we basically have all the information that we need to build the query. So let's first of all jump into the performance suite and have a look what the composite provider is built of and how many queries are built on this composite provider, which might be available to use to be used as a template. Therefore, I'm opening the data follow functionality of the composite provider and I will also include the queries which are built on top. And here we can already see that there is quite a mess. So we have plenty of queries and to anal uh, analyze these manually is quite difficult. So what Nico would usually do manually, he would jump into these queries in Eclipse, he would open them one by one and he would check the filter settings, he would check the sheet definition, and he would compare it to the set card which Connie provided. So let's have a look here. We have our variables, base, key figures, and so on. And you can already see where I'm going, opening all these queries one by one and comparing them to the recent requirements of the new query. That's just a waste of time. This leads nowhere. It just takes so much time, and we are not even sure if at the end we get a proper result. So there needs to be a more efficient solution. And this is what I will show you now. Let's jump back to our system scout. And I will show you what functionalities it offers to do this in the proper way. First of all, I'm going to open up an analysis function that is called reporting entities with certain info objects. What I can do here, I can choose a certain set of info objects that I would like to analyze all the existing queries for. Let's, for example, start with the characteristics which are defined in our set card. So here I'm entering all the characteristics which are required. Let's, for example, go for FISC here, FISC pair, and no zero cost center. I'm entering them here in the filter and I drag them to the right side. And then we go to the key figures and we will select all the base key figures which are required in our new query. Um, let's adjust the filter for now. Let's search for these key figures. Here we have them. And I will also add them to the right side. So what I'm basically doing now with this functionality is I'm searching for all the queries which contain these elements, these objects in the definition. And to do this, I can simply click on execute after selecting my objects. And what the tool does now is it goes into the system and it's, it's going to show me and list me all the queries which fulfill this requirement which I created up here. I know this is again quite simple because I simply selected three characteristics and four base key figures. But as you can see, this works also for calculated key figures, for restricted key figures, navigation attributes, and so on. So you can build your free combination of these objects and find out which queries have these requirements already fulfilled. What I see now is well, I have four queries which basically match my requirement. So four queries which have these three characteristics and these four base key figures built in. And so far, I do not really know how these objects are used. So I'm not sure if the key figures are used in the columns or if these characteristics are used as three characteristics or in the rows. And to analyze this further, I can open a second functionality in System Scout, which is called Metrics of Usage, Info Provider Objects and Queries. Let's open this functionality. Here I can open my composite provider, the Zepur V03, and I can select it first of all. What I get in a in the second step is a list again of all the queries that are built on this composite provider. And let's for now check these four queries which the previous analysis was showing us. So query one to four. When I start now this analysis, the system scout is creating an Excel file which is showing me which 
characteristics and key figures of the composite provider are used by each of these queries and in what way? Let's have a look at this Excel, which is created. Okay, the Excel creation is finished. I can simply open it. Let's wait for a second and here we have it. Um, the buildup is quite simple. So here we have all the characteristics of the composite provider. We have all the key figures of the composite provider and our variables. And then we have from column D to G, our queries, which are recently selected. And for each query, we have now the information if it is using a characteristic or key figure and how this characteristic or key figure is used. This element, for example, is used in the rows of the query. In the second query, it's used as free characteristic and so on. And we can see that we have the detailed definition for all characteristics and key figures. Now let's focus on the characteristics and key figures which are previously selected. Therefore, I already prepared a second view on this table where I restricted the filter to the ones that we want to focus on. And here I can identify, okay, yes, uh, the first query has fifth pair and fifth year already assigned to the columns. And I see that all four base key figures which I selected are somehow used in this query. And zero cost center seems to be available in the free characteristics. I think this is already great and I'm willing to use this as my template query. Let's have a look back into our set card to remember, okay, yeah, we had these four base key figures and we had these four characteristics. Two of them were supposed to be in the columns and cost center was supposed to be in the rows. Now that we've analyzed these queries and we figure out that the first one is basically fulfilling our requirements in the best way, we're gonna have a quick look on this query in detail. So let's open this one. It was uh, this query and we can open it with analyze compare to get a deep dive into the structure of the query itself to make sure that this is actually a good template to be used. We can already see our filters here. Um, there seems to be variables on at least two of these characteristics. However, cost center seems to be missing the variable that we need. We will get to this later. We have here three characteristics with certain filters. There seems to be a filter on zero material group, which we need to be removed, but that's okay. And we need to remove some row elements and some column elements. But besides this, this query is actually fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Eclipse and I'm simply going to copy this query and thereby using it as a template. I'm going to give it this new name, which was defined in the set card. So here we have, first of all, the name of the info provider. And then we have our naming conventions and Let's set the counter to 21 and we are gonna call it cost center overview as requested in the gyra ticket. Okay, then for sure we have certain adjustments to do because this is not completely what we want. Let's first of all remove these elements here in the rows and let's add a cost center from the free characteristics to the rows and let's maybe also remove some base key figures which we do not need as we saw in the set card. And then we have a filter on zero, mate uh, on zero material group, which also is not needed. And we can save this. That's fine so far, but let's have a look one more time into the set card. And here we will see that there is a variable to be defined on the cost center characteristic with a certain settings. So we have the cost center as the base object. The variable representation is multiple single values. The variable entry is optional. The variable should be ready for input and we should have no default values or replacement rule or anything else. So in general, what Nico would do now is he would try to restrict this characteristic with a variable. And as we Usually, no, there is plenty of variables which are, which are used to do restrictions. And keeping the overview in this chaos is quite complicated. So Nico could now jump from variable to variable and analyze these settings here to see 
if there is at, what, at least one variable that he could reuse to build this query. And this is quite complicated. And let me show you how System Scout is handling this issue. In System Scout, we have the functionality called Variable Analyzer. Here, I can first of all enter the base object for which I would like to see all the variables. This was zero cost center. And by clicking on list variables, I get an overview of all the variables which are there. Besides this, I also have a second functionality here. I can see the duplicates, meaning all the variables which have the same settings and might be simply garbage in the system. So this is already some kind of housekeeping functionality, but this is not a functionality that we want to focus on now. So let's jump back to the normal view. And I would like to show you how easy it is to find a variable which suits our requirements. Let's go back to our set card for once and let's see how the settings of the variable should be. So in variable type, we have the characteristics values, on the processing by, I have the user entry default value, so I can filter on this. Then we have the multiple single values for the variable representation. For the selection, I can use this as well, and the query should be ready for input. And I have my variable, which I can reuse this fast. So let's copy the technical name. Let's jump back to our Eclipse. Let's select the variable that we just found and finish the implementation of the query. Okay, so as we could see, it was quite convenient for Nico to use the system scout functionalities to first of all, find the template. So a query that he could build up his new query on. And we saw how he could easily find variables which are already available in the system that he can reuse for his purposes. Since Nico is interested in developing good work and also being responsible for his development, he is now even using the documentation functionalities of the Doku Performer to have a proper document that Connie can take to accept the development officially. Therefore, let me quickly show you how um, the system synchronization works. So since the query we just created is new to the system, we need to synchronize our BW for HANA system quickly to get all the new queries into the Docker performer. And whenever this is finished, I have my new query available here. Let's search for it, 03 rep. And as you remember, it was number 21. So here we have our new query. And Nico simply creates a documentation file so a PDF documentation, which contains all the settings which he did to the query. And once this is finished, he can easily copy this file and add it to the Jira task. Implementation finished, just a quick, short comment. He can add the documentation to the Jira task and click it to done. It's that easy. Okay, let's jump back to the presentation and sum up what we just saw. So due to the fact that System Scout offers the automation of these analysis tasks, Nico could easily get an overview of the existing queries which are already built on the composite provider. He could quickly identify the query template which he could use he could efficiently check whether variables already exist that meet the requirements. And thus, he was able to combine the fast development with a diligent development effort. And these two do not longer exclude each other. Okay, so if you saw any functionalities now which you do not already know, or if you saw products which you are interested in, feel free to request a free trial. You are always able to test these functionalities. Just get back to us and we will be happy to help you. If you saw this documentation functionality, which I showed at the end, there is a webinar, which we did a couple of weeks ago. That's it from my side. Uh, I would like to thank you for your attention and see you soon. Bye-bye.